Okay, hello. So I'm just making a quick tutorial, hopefully quick tutorial, on uh, how to chart, um, how, or how I do my charting for tap tap songs usually. Uh, it's probably not the conventional way, so I thought I would uh, make a quick video explaining how I usually go about it. So you're just going to need two things for this, which is EOF and Moonscraper. Um, I'll leave links to the, in the description for both of these things, uh, but you should be able to find them pretty easily through Google if I forget. Um, anyway, so start with the EOF, open up EOF.exe, uh, and you just want to make a new song. I'm going to use the Aquabat song, uh, Nerd Alert for this. And this just takes a second. Alright, so hit F5 on your keyboard to turn on, uh, whatever this fault whatever this mode is called, waveform mode. Um, you can drag the first beat marker to line up with the, f with the uh, first note, but I usually just drag uh, this second one just because it makes it easier to reset later when you convert the song. Uh, just kind of drag it to the first note there and then make sure it's selected and go to beat, BPM change, and I usually just use the uh, song BPM to find what my uh, the BPMs for my song. So this one says it's 155. I'm just going to change this one to 155 here. All right. And uh, looks like it's pretty much lined up. I'm just going to move it a little bit there. And if you hit M on your keyboard, that'll turn on the metronome and you can just listen to make sure it's all lined up. Normally I would spend a bunch more time uh, listening to the whole song to make sure it's all lined up, but I'm just going to skip into it a bit and see if it's still lined up, just to be uh, sure. Alright, so it seems like that synced up at least pretty decently. I'm not going to spend too much time on that for the video, but it um, seems like that's good. And then in here, that's pretty much all I do in EOF for now. Hit File, hit Save, and you can just click Exit, get out of here and open up Moonscraper. Um, too lazy to edit the video, so you're dealing with load screens. Um, go to File, Load, and load the, uh, go to the EOF folder that you were just in, and click on notes.mid, and it should be loaded up properly here. Um, I'm just gonna give you a brief explanation on the controls here. Um, to make it a little bit easier to look at, you might want to turn hyperspeed up a bit. Uh, I like to set it to like, you know, just a nice like either like a quarter or about halfway. Um, for speed, don't worry about that unless you're putting notes in. Uh, highway length, I usually just like to crank that, but if it's distracting, keep it lower. Uh, by default, it's like that. But um, yeah. Um, so for placing notes, if you press. Uh, you can either click on them here. Uh, the shortcuts are always listed here if you forget what they are. But uh, it's Y to place notes. Uh, you can either click to place them like that and hold right click and then left click to get rid of them if you just want to quick get rid of them. Um, don't worry about tap or force notes. Those are for Guitar Hero. Um, but the way that I like to do it is if you hit the uh, tilde key on your keyboard or whatever it's called, the key next to the one, uh, it'll go into keys mode where if you use one, two, three, four, and five, or just you know three lanes for tap tap, which I usually use uh, green, yellow, and orange just because I'm so used to that, um, then you can place your notes and then use the arrow keys to navigate up and down. Uh, that works for hold notes too, if you just hold a note down. Um, if you press, you'll see up here, if I hit left and right, then it switches between the steps. Uh, it goes up and down like that. Usually you want to use like 8, 16, 32, uh, but depending on the song, you might need to use some funky ones, um, which you do pretty regularly. But yeah, this, you should know how to chart at least to some degree if you're watching this video. Um, but yeah, you do, I'm not going to spend any time on this. I'm just going to go through placing some random notes just for the purpose of the video. Um, but yeah, so you can place your notes. Uh, if you go out of keys mode, just for a little bit of explanation on how this works, if you hit L, which is, uh, I believe, what's L? The something. 
something key. But if you hit L, um, you can start selecting things like that. Um, and you can copy. It'll copy at the point of this little red marker on the side here. So if you want to copy from this green note, you want to put your mouse here. Uh, hit Control C. And then if I want to paste it, uh, maybe just overwrite this note here. You want to line it up there and then just paste it again. Uh, and you can do that as much as you want. Uh, if you want to make it a little bit easier to navigate the song on the right here, uh, go up to Options, uh, Settings, or sorry, Song Properties, uh, Guitar Audio. You want to make sure that you change that to Song Audio. And then um, the time bar on the right here should be a bit more accurate. I, I'm not sure why it does that. Um, so yeah, if you hit P on your keyboard, uh, you can open up the um, I'm trying to think the sections the sections tool. Uh, don't touch BPM or anything like that. But if you want to set like you know intro, um, and then I'm just gonna go over here and set like test marker. I don't know. Then you can uh, click on this little globe here, and it'll go back to the regular mode. And then you can quickly you know click between sections like that, or I think use um, there's oh goodness, there's another button um, to switch between sections. I'm not, I don't remember what it is, but all the controls are listed in the manual here. Um, but yeah, for the most part, you're just going to want to use um, your uh, keys mode in uh, note placement, so you can just do things like that. Uh, if you go in the options here, you can turn on sustain gaps if you want to auto have gaps so look at the green note here it'll cut off uh, 1 16th before the next note because of the auto sustain gaps and you can configure that to be whatever you want uh, also notice how uh, or I mean the sustain gaps but yeah ex extended sustains are also here um, so if you if you want to do those they work as you would expect them to work um, much easier than using it in other software I find so yeah anyway after you're done your song let, let's say for the for the purpose of the video you finished your song uh, hit file and save just to make another copy of it um, give it whatever name you want and that'll save it as a chart file then go to file export that's where you can save it as a mid file uh, if you have issues uh, exporting it then uncheck forced but if you did it properly, then it shouldn't be any issues anyway. Uh, then go to export, get rid of the dot chart on the end there, um, or just rename it to whatever you want. Hit save, uh, and that should be it for Moonscraper now. Now you want to go back to EOF, um, load up the mid file that you just exported by going file import MIDI and choose nerdalert.mid. You'll see hopefully everything uh, placed properly and you want to select the first uh, first marker, the first beat marker in your song uh, and then go to beat, BPM change, set it to 120, hit OK, beat, uh, reset BPM, adjust notes, no, uh, raise specified BPM changes, OK and it should reset the entire song to 120 BPM. Uh, after that, you can probably get rid of your uh, your section markers if you made those, which you just go beat um, events, clear all events, and then uh, hit file save on that. And then you should have a 120 BPM finish chart uh, that you can run through the tap tap converter and convert to whatever you need it to be uh, wherever the hell I put that mid to tap yep and I don't have Java installed right now because I just did a Windows reinstall but you get the point uh, after that you should know what to do but uh, yeah I thought I'd just make a, a relatively quick video on that just showing how I did that um, and hopefully you learn something neat from it um, I definitely recommend watching other videos on Moonscraper if you want, you know, a little bit more of an in-depth explanation of to how that works. But just scratching the surface, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything for now. I.
We'll put links for both of the things in the description there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm going to stop this now. Goodbye.